Hello everyone, I'm Vikram Aditya here. Welcome to JS of Tech. And in this session, I'm going to discuss with you all the question and answers, which are the latest ones, which have been asked in the recent interviews for all the modules. I have generalized this questions uh, for all the modules. And uh, if it's specific to a particular module, I'm going to discuss that in, uh, in other session. And uh, if you observe the questions that I have made in the recent, in this particular session, we are almost based on HANA platform. And uh, that is how the interview questions have been asked. Most of the interviews in most of the interviews they are asking the questions based on HANA so that's the reason uh, most of the questions will be based on HANA platform now in which project did you work so if at all if you have uh, and I, I have when I'm interviewing a couple of guys they have told me that yeah, they're working in SAP project or S4 HANA project or uh, in ECC project uh, or they are also saying say, uh, they also said me that you know they are working in SAP FICO project. No, there will be different types of projects in SAP which we need to know and we need to tell in the interview. So they are implementation project, support or maintenance project, upgradation project, migration project, and roller part. So if you anytime get a question which project you are working in, you should be telling them this this answer. Any of this this should be your answer like either you, if you're working in implementation part you should say that i'm working in implementation project i'm going to explain you all about all these different types of projects in another session if i already made a session for this you can search in our channel or i'll also make a new uh, session on this particular types of v types of uh, projects and what are the different uh, hana types of projects so we'll in in implementation in implementation of sap s4 hana what are the different types of scenarios or projects that we have we have one is new implementation project system conversion and landscape transformation uh, and uh, i'll be explaining about these three scenarios again in the in the in the coming sessions but in this i'm going to only discuss from the question and answer perspective the new new implementation system conversion and landscape transformation what is the system landscape of your project in sap s4 hana or any other uh, mod so basically we all know that uh, the system landscape of any of the project we are all uh, aware of this question but still i've just uh, placed it because you know uh, people are getting confused whether uh, do we have any other landscape in the s4 hana platform so development server quality server pre-production server and production server as we know pre-production server is optional explain the differences between the hana database and the hana platform hana database is a hybrid in-memory database this database is known as the heart of sap in-memory in technology sap hana platform sap hana platform is called the development platform with in-memory storage so in short the hana database is a database it's a, it's it's something which will store the data but platform is something which from which we'll access it is called the development platform with in-memory data storage. This facility allows the user to perform the analysis of a large volume of data that too in a real time. This platform works as a platform for development. It, it also provides infrastructure and tools for building a high performance application. What are the additions in SAP HANA? So we have different additions in SAP HANA. SAP HANA platform edition, SAP HANA enterprise edition and SAP HANA extended edition. So SAP HANA platform edition provides a core database technology. There is an integration of SAP components, including SAP HANA database, SAP HANA studio and SAP HANA clients. All this put together is called SAP HANA platform edition. And it is, uh, it is for customers who already have a license for SAP business objects, data services, and when they want to use ETL based applications as well. So SAP HANA enterprise edition, this edition contains data provisioning, SLT, BODS and DXC components including core data technologies uh, it is only for customers who want to use trigger based uh, replication that is etl based replication and does not have the entire necessary license required for sap business object data services that's bods so if they, if they don't have then we'll go for sap hana enterprise edition then we have the sap hana extended edition this edition ex uh, contains data provisioning the features more than any other platform enterprises edition it is a perfect choice for the customers who want to use the full potential of all available replication scenarios even the log based replication as well what are the advantages of hana why customers are going for hana so the first and foremost is in memory technology which helps users to explore and analyze the transactional analytical data in real time 
virtually and also from any data source. The aggregation of data can be done from more than one source in SAP HANA. In SAP HANA, real-time replication services can be used. It can access and replicate data from SAP ERP. Information modeling and design uh, environment are always available. It also has SQL and MDX interface from the third-party support system. And this is an add-on advantage for uh, users. HANA Studio tasks. What are the tasks of an HANA Studio or a HANA developer? It, HANA Studio informs which tables have been stored in HANA. You can check the different tables that we have in HANA through the HANA Studio. And its first part is to get the metadata and then the job of scheduling data replication stats. Uh, if it manages data services to enter the data from SAP Business Bureau or any other system into the SAP HANA, HANA platform. It manages the ERP instances connection because the current release version does not support connection to various other ERP instances. And what are the techniques of compression in SAP HANA? There will be different types of techniques uh, to compress data in HANA. So we have run, run length encoding, cluster encoding and dictionary encoding. I repeat this very important concept, run length encoding, cluster encoding and dictionary encoding. What is the role of master controller job in SAP HANA? The role of master master controller job in SAP HANA is, is as follows. So the master controller job is liable for creating the database triggers and also for logging the table into the source system. So it basically takes care of whether the database triggers have happened or not happened. The master controller also plays the role of creating the synonyms. It also liable to create new entries in the admin tables in SLT server when a table has been replicated. What are the various components in SAP HANA? There will be different components in SAP HANA. They are HANA database, HANA studio, HANA appliance, HANA application cloud. Why enterprises are shifting to a HANA platform? So, or, you know, every implementation which is happening right now in SAP is done on SAP HANA platform only. So, the advantages already we have discussed, but there are few more advantages why the clients are moving from uh, ECC server to HANA, SAP S4 HANA. So it has got real, real uh, SAP HANA provide real time data provisioning and real time reporting of data. Speed, it's very fast. So SAP HANA provides a high level speed processing uh, on massive data. And this is, this is due to the in-memory technology open to data source. SAP HANA can access various data sources without any issues, including the structured and unstructured data from SAP or non-SAP sources as well. Cloud SAP HANA application and database can be easily deployed on the cloud environment. Simplicity. SAP HANA is the best known for its simplicity. It also reduces the efforts behind the ETL process, data aggregation, uh, indexing and uh, uh, mapping. Cost factor also, SAP states that SAP HANA software can reduce the total IT cost of any company. Choice option available, SAP HANA is supported by the different hardware vendors and has a list of software providers as well. So based on the requirement, the user has to too many options to uh, that can from which he can choose the best one. So what are the advantages of SAP SLT? Those who don't know what is SLT, let me tell you that SLT is the uh, is the system landscape transformation concept which has been used to get the data from some, let's say, ECC server, which will have the legacy database like uh, Oracle server or uh, SQL server from there to move it to the SAP, uh, uh, SAP HANA platform. Uh, for that, we basically use the SAP SLT server. It works on trigger based approach. Therefore, such an approach has an as no measurable performance impact in the source system. This also offers to filter the capability and transformation of data. It offers the real time data replication. It is fully integrated with HANA studios. So SLT is a concept to replicate the data from ECC to our HANA studio. The role, what is the role of SAP Solution Manager Solomon? Uh, I have observed that most of the uh, SAP consultants do not, are not aware of this uh, Solomon, uh, which has been recently you know, introduced by SAP 7.2 in SAS for HANA. So the Solution Manager 7.2 facilitates change towards outcome-based delivery. Use Solution Manager 7.2 with best practice to deploy SAP S4 HANA. It acts as a ERP for SAP projects. So to, to run the SAP projects, this, this will navigate us to 
uh, what to do in the entire process it helps with fit to standard analysis document scope requirement and project management etc so I, i'm going to make a, a, a another session on solomon if at all if you want to know about solution manager which is extremely important for us to uh, you know get more clarity on the implementation projects in sap i'll i'll make a video on it just uh, write me write to me in the comments and i'll i'll, I'll be very happy to do that so benefits of solution manager for sap s4 hana all methodology accelerators and tools to customer in one area modern fury interface track the build build process build cycles etc even from your mobile phones tools for best practices like test scripts are available process diagrams are available configuration documents uh, etc and templates mm, extremely uh, you know flexible templates are also available in this uh, solomon tool or solution manager tool so, so now here this solomon helps to keep track of changes it is a single source of truth for the project so the transport requests are been processed through the solomon the solution manager reporting in in project reporting uh, we have solomon has a solution readiness dashboard to track team members activities now what are the phases of in activate methodology we all know that in sap s4 hana implementation project we are going to adopt uh, you know activate methodology so we should be aware of the basic uh, basic uh, phases of the activate methodology they are prepare explore realize and deploy i'm going to talk more about a activate methodology i have already made a session on activate methodology you can search for that in our channel but at, if at all if you are if you want to be a, a perfect uh, ex, uh, i mean like you want to have more knowledge on activate methodology i'll make few more sessions on activate methodology and post it let me know in the comments prepare explore realize deploy are the phases of activate methodology prepare explore realize and deploy thanks for watching this video let me know what are the what are the other other topics that you would like to know like to see the videos upon in the future uh, do write it in the comments i'll try to make my best of uh, whenever uh, time permits me and uh, if at all if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe at youtube.com slash softtech and if at all if you are looking out for any kind of trainings uh, you know you can contact us training at the jsfd.com and if you are looking out for any kind of jobs uh, you can contact us at jobs at the jsfd.com and please do share this video with all who are who are who are in the sap field it might help them as well thank you have a great day this is a part one of uh, our latest uh, a, a questions on sap i'd, I'd come back with uh, more part two and other parts uh, extended parts as well in the in the very few, very near future because uh, i cannot inculcate all the in question and answers which have been asked in the interviews in in one video so i'm i'm going to make this videos in the future and do let me know any questions uh, that you have faced in an interview and i'll try to make an answer for that thank you have a great day.